Hello everyone! If you have not yet watched the first two episodes in this series yet, I would definitely recommend it. In just a note, I have decided for time's sake to look at each step of the fossil fuel process in its own video. Each has plenty of research and effects to fill a full video, and I want to give the most amount of information possible in each topic. If you are interested in learning more about the hidden cost of fossil fuels, the links will be in the description below. So now let's dive in. First, let's take a closer look at how we get these fuels out of the ground. So for each of the four steps that we'll be covering in these videos, I'll be splitting the page down the middle. The red on the left will be focusing on some of the health issues, while the right side in blue will focus on the environmental concerns. Let's start with coal mining. Coal mining has been linked with respiratory illnesses for its miners. Last year, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, stated that coal miners were at high risk of developing black lung and scoliosis. In the past 50 years, over 75,000 miners have died from black lung disease alone. Miners are also at high risk of explosions while doing their jobs. Another type of coal mining is mountaintop removal. It includes removing parts or all of mountaintops to retrieve the coal hidden underneath. Once the soil is removed, however, they dispose the excess material by dumping it into adjacent valleys. A Yale School of Forestry article pointed out that, and this is a direct quote, of all the environmental problems caused by mountaintop projects, decapitated peaks, deforestation, the significant carbon footprint, Scientists have found that valley fills do the most damage because they destroy headwater streams and surrounding forests, which are crucial to the workings of mountain ecosystems. You can find the full article linked below. Here in the top right hand corner, you can see a natural forest ecosystem, thriving with animal and plant life. Here's what happened to this type of ecosystem after mountaintop removal. Now let's get onto drilling and fracking of oil and natural gas. There are many different types of drilling, but all dig a hole into the ground to uncover reservoirs of fossil fuels. Fracking is a method used to recover gas and oil from under the ground by injecting a mixture of water, sand, and chemicals into the earth to release the resources. After extracting these materials, the drilling and fracking processes both produce wastewater from underground formations. This wastewater can carry heavy metals, hydrocarbons, and naturally occurring radioactive substances. Both the chemicals used in the fracking formula and the wastewater have gotten into drinking water sources and other waterways. Another major environmental concern involving natural gas is methane. Methane is the main component of natural gas. An article posted by the Union of Concerned Scientists even stated that methane is 86 times more effective at trapping heat over a 20-year period than carbon dioxide. If methane is released anywhere in the extracting or transportation process of natural gas, it greatly contributes to global warming. The last type of extracting we'll talk about today is another form of oil and gas removal, offshore drilling. According to the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, 16% of all domestic oil production came from the Gulf of Mexico alone. In 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil rig exploded, becoming the largest marine oil spill in history. It killed 11 workers and released 4.9 million barrels of oil into the ocean. Oil spills also greatly affect marine animals. Ingesting the oil will negatively affect the animals in the form of diseases and mutations, some will even die. This could also eventually affect humans by making seafood near the spill unsafe for us to eat. Overall, there are so many effects on our health and environment that come from just extracting fossil fuels. Please stay tuned for my next video on the impacts of transporting fossil fuels. Have a nice day!